I am from the little town of Clannacilty, right at the bottom of Ireland and on the coast. We are about 30 miles west of the city of Cork, and the town often refers to itself as the gateway to West Cork. Let's start from just about eight miles west of the town, and we will work our way towards the east. This is the beautiful little village of Roscarbury. Well, hard to believe now, this little hamlet was a major ecclesiastical center in Europe as far back as the sixth century. It's also the birthplace of one of the great Irish patriots, Jeremiah O'Donovan Rossa, a leader of the Fenian movement for Irish independence, which was quite active in the US and here in the Boston area at the end of the 19th century. One of the key pieces of advice I always give travelers in Ireland is to stick to the coast. In recent years, what has become known as the Wild Atlantic Way, we are on it here, has become one of the country's great attractions, and as you can see, for good reason. From Roscarbury, we are traveling east. This is Onahincha, one of the many popular beaches in the area. Just back up from this beach is the intriguingly named Castle Freak. When we were children, this was an open ruin. You can imagine how our flights of fancy soared around its crumbling walls and battlements. From Onahincha, we travel over one of the many headlands to the aptly named Long Strand, one of the most popular surfing beaches in the county and one of my favorite places to take long, meandering walks. The Galley Head Lighthouse, now automated, but one of my most vivid memories as a child was visiting the large butler family, the lighthouse keepers, with my dad. It intrigued us to know that they lived here, and we imagined the whole family keeping the lights burning brightly to warn shipping off the treacherous rocks that dominate the West Cork coast. This is the village of Ardfield. While many new houses have been built here in recent years, the area is still mostly farmland. The farm where my dad grew up is still run by my own first cousin, John. During World War II, my dad, Jim O'Donovan, left this area and went to Cork City to apprentice as a butcher, which became his life's trade. He met my mother, Joan O'Herlihy, in Kinsale, where he was working. They moved back to Clonakilty, where they raised us nine children. From Ardfield, we travel past Dunmore House, run by yet another family of O'Donovans. It's where many of our important family gatherings and special occasions are still held. And it's just about two miles on that we come into the lovely little town of Clannacilty. Clannacilty is generally regarded now as one of the most picturesque little towns in Ireland. Its bustling restaurant and live music scenes, a big attraction. And its yearly guitar festival is about to re-emerge. Michael Collins, the architect of Irish independence in 1921, was born just outside the town. And on a lighter note, it is home to the now famous Clannacilty Black Pudding. My mouth waters at the thought of it. To conclude this aperitif of a visit, we travel a short distance to the beach area we spent our childhood summers at, in Chidani. Regularly voted one of the top swimming beaches in Europe, it also boasts a five-star hotel. Following family tradition, it's where our own four Boston-born O'Donovan children spend each summer growing up with their 23 first cousins. And now, it's seeing the next generation, our grandchildren, summering there. When we can travel safely again, we will be restarting our GBH learning tours and take this as an invitation to join me in visiting this special area more extensively. My happy place, my beloved West Cork. <laughs>